I think there are a couple of ways to improve uh, many of the challenges that inhibit um, young children and, and poor children in particular from having opportunities to become global leaders. Um, one is to find mentors who have the experiences that you and I have, um, who have been able to take advantage of, of language development and, and opportunities to travel and build relationships uh, across the world um, and find ways to tell these children about those opportunities. Um, one is a, a quote that someone said recently is, you know, a, a child can't imagine a world that he or she doesn't know yet. And so simply finding ways to tell that story and to make those connections for them is, is really important. Um, I think the second one is to find ways to embed it in the learning curriculum. Um, you know, it is and not enough now that we simply talk about local issues or things that we perceive to be local issues. I grew up in Los Angeles, California, but went to undergrad in New York. Um, and the things that my classmates who grew up in the Northeast talked about were not the same <laughs> as those that I was at least used to in California. Um, I often joke now that, you know, it, it was through reading and through exposure that I even understood what the tundra was, having, again, grown up in Los Angeles, California, a place that we don't see a whole lot of snow. Um, and so finding ways to embed those types of learning opportunities and experiences um, is critically important. And then the last one um, that I would mention now is, 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 is something that um, is not frequently talked about, but that I sort of appreciate from my childhood, and it's having pen pals. It's having opportunities for young people to exchange ideas with one another, um, regardless of where they come from or what they're interested in. I uh, remember uh, and think about this often now as an adult, um, having a pen pal in New York City and having another in Shanghai and sort of being able to talk about what their worlds were at that time and sort of imagine what they were going through uh, was foundational for me. It was something that I, I, I now find myself drawing upon as an adult.